Democracy is the cornerstone of politics in the Western world. Democracy means to rule by the people. There are theoretically two methods of democracy to achieve this, direct or representative democracy. Representative democracy is when a representative politician or official is voted in by the people to collaborate with other politicians on behalf of the people. This is commonly seen in politics and most democracies today. On the other hand, direct democracy is direct power to the people. People get to vote on important bills, laws and policies directly. Majority wins. In theory, gives people power to represent themselves. In this video we explore modern use of direct democracy, the origins of democracy and analyse the pros and cons of direct democracy in modern world. Direct democracy is used in a limited way in modern times. Most commonly it is used in local or state governments. It is sparingly used in national governments today, usually seen through initiative and popular referendums, where people get to vote directly on the law, bill, issue or change, with specific criteria for it to be passed or become binding. The most popular recent example would be Brexit. Citizens in Britain got to vote on the United Kingdom staying with the European Union or leaving. Majority voted to leave. Referendums in most countries are fairly uncommon, most countries only having a handful over their existence. Other countries, like the United States, leaving this to the state system. Ancient Greece Athenians are the architects of democracy. Most forms of government around the world at this time were ruled by a monarchy, a king or queen, or an oligarchy, a few people, usually the rich. During the 6th century BC, the Athenians ruled as an oligarchy. A prolonged political dispute between the rich and poor led to problems. Potential civil unrest and chaos threatened Attica. A man named Solon, who was trusted by both the rich and the poor, was selected to create a new system and implement reforms to secure a balanced society. His reforms would make way to produce the framework of democracy. His political philosophy was to build politics on a national scale and include the poor in the political process. He did this by establishing an assembly for Athenian citizens. And most government decisions were discussed at the assembly. Thousands of citizens would turn out to the assembly to put forth their vote in the issues discussed. Direct democracy. However, Athenian citizens were only reserved for males and Athenian born people. So then, does direct democracy work? Obviously Athens found some success with it, but is it viable today? Should it be used more or less in national governments today? Let's look at the pros and cons of complete direct democracy. Pros. Equality. Everyone gets the chance to vote and every vote counts the same. It's fair and without prejudice, and this means it doesn't matter who votes, it still counts as a vote. First on the cons list, equality. Every vote counts the same, even if you voted randomly, it counts. People can also be misinformed or have limited knowledge of what they are voting for. It takes time to make an informed decision. Back to the pros, responsive. The government can quickly make changes to laws and policies. They don't need to debate and discuss these internally. The people have spoken. Back to the cons. Responsive. Quick changes can lead to bad policy. Policy or laws that might not achieve the desired effect. Rushing through changes can lead to unintended consequences. Back to the pros. Power. People have the power to directly vote and make decisions. Majority rules and people will get what they want. The flip side of power on the cons, the majority are not always correct. And what people think is good for them is not necessarily what is. People like to eat sweets, but lots of sweets are not good for you. It's the same in politics. Back to the pros, participation. When people feel like what they are voting for is important and matters, they will participate. The Brexit referendum 
saw high numbers around 70% of Britain turn out to vote. That's a lot. Participation for the cons. People may feel discouraged to vote based on the policy, if they feel it's not important, or perhaps voter fatigue. Switzerland has many referendums averaging around three a year, their last three hovering around 51% turnout. Complete direct democracy seems like a double-edged sword. Power to the people could be beneficial or potentially devastating. However, is it better than the popular representative system? You can decide that for yourself. If you got some value from this video and enjoy history, politics, theology, sociology, this channel is just for you. So hit that subscribe button to check out my current and future videos.